Shalom. All the praise, honor, and glory goes unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of the great millstone who rule well and teach well, and honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Brock a thumb unto you, sincere and you hopeful elect. So upon um, looking at this video, there is a there is a chariot. What I believe is a chariot in the background. OK, so I'm going to just play a piece of this video. And this was from the other night. This is from uh, last night. And uh, and that night, if you look above my head, man, you can see how it um it just comes and it disappears. All right, right above my head. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakan Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of the great millstone who rule well, teach well, and honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. All right, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakan Kodash. Rock a thumb to you, sincere and you hopeful elect. All right. Hey, and guess what? Okay, another another day down, another day uh, in America, right? Where this place is going to be destroyed. It's being destroyed morally, right? And now the Lord is starting to destroy this place physically. Starting off with the people, okay? Starting off with two-thirds of Israel, all right? You other nations, okay? And chiefly, you damn Edomites, you so-called white people, man. So we're just going to uh, get into the fact, once again, uh, you know, the, the basics about how the Lord wants his hopeful elect to come in uh, through the door and how all these others, right, the two-thirds, you other nations, you're going to try to come in some other way and how the Lord isn't going to recognize that, okay? And this is spirit because uh, going down to verse 10, that was the main part uh, that I was going into, but of course, you know, you always start off, you know, from the top. Now, it's not required, of course, but through the spirit, you're going to start off from the top, man. All right, so I was watching a um, video from the elders based out of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And they were speaking on, <clears throat> basically, um, you can't, you know, you, when you're invited to this to this wedding, when you're invited to this dinner, right, and partaking in the fruits, partaking in the bread, the oil, the wine, okay, the um, first off, the guest has to be known, man, okay, and the person that is inviting you, Okay, they have to give you that invitation. And he was speaking about how when you get invited to a, a birthday party, you get invited to a dinner, you get invited to any event, right? You don't just, you, you know, you don't just have random ass people at the event. You, you first off, you have to be specifically invited, man. All right, so the hopeful elect have been invited to partake uh, in this feast, to partake in the, uh, you know, the, the eating of this hidden manna, which is these scriptures, man. So we just gonna go. Straight into that, and Lord's will, this is edifying. And it was a very good, uh, it was a very good lesson, man. It was, it was, a, be it was a beautiful lesson. All right, so this is the book. So this is the book of St. John. Chapter... Uh, chapter 10 and verse 1, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entered not by the door, but into the sheepfold, slot you. This is the book of St. John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you. So if you notice, it started off in a disc shape right here. How it's paused, and you can see that it eventually turns into a roll and then leaves now the, if you look in the background and this is just through the spirit yesterday i saw something behind me but i was too just busy doing the lesson but the sky was very clear yesterday and then it had one singular cloud okay and i didn't notice until uh i just reviewed this video so i'm gonna just try to see if I can just make it go forward a little bit. But you can see how it moves, man. This is clear as day. All 
out of cloud in the sky. And there goes that chariot, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Hey, Barakathia Hawa, Barakathia Hawa Shai. Barakathia Hawa, Barakathia Hawa Shai, man. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and who is he? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. All right? He cometh with clouds. And what are the clouds, ultimately? Those are the chariots. <clears throat> it says, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So the same people that pierced our Lord in his side, <clears throat> they are here uh, in reincarnation, right? And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So even though the heavenly father is coming uh, to destroy, he's also coming to uh, give salvation unto the hopeful elect of Israel. That's what it's all about, man. That's why you're going to see all the different people. They're going to be crying. Right? Yet the hopeful elect, we're going to be calling out to the Lord. Brakathi Yahweh, Brakathi Yahweh Shai, Brakathi Yahweh, Brakathi Yahweh Shai. Calling, calling out to him because we, we're seeing what he's doing. We're seeing what he's doing uh, for us. And, you know, that's just through the spirit. Because later on uh, in that video, about an hour and a half later after that video, I was going into how the Heavenly Father deals with his son. Then his son, right, gives gives uh, a report. Uh, Salakia, the Heavenly uh, the Heavenly Father deals with his son, and then his son tells his uh, uh, tells his angels what to do. Okay, because even though. Uh, those angels are Yahweh's angels. They're also Yahweh Shai's angels, right? Because he is he is who you ignorantly call God's son. So the, the angels can put uh, a, a, sp a spirit on you, a spirit of understanding, a uh, spirit of wisdom. And they also have left handed angels, which is what you would call uh, a demon. Right. So the heavenly father controls both. Uh, the right-handed angels, and he controls the left-handed angels, man. So Lord's will, you know, we continue to be controlled by the right, the right-handed angels. You, you can have uh, a certain uh, spirit come over you of understanding, man. That's how we came into this thing. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahashai put a spirit of understanding on us, and that is based upon faith. You know, that was something that uh, I really have been going into. Uh, over the past few days is is faith this word is based upon faith man all right this word is based upon faith and you you brothers man you 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 brothers need to continue on in the faith continue on in the truth all right you sin you sincere brothers man you sincere brothers and you few sisters you know things may get hard or these things may get hard for you Continuing on in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and, and seeking to be the hopeful elect is is a spirit that is put upon you. Okay, so I just want to go into that video real quick. All the praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the once again double honors uh, to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. All right, and taught me this truth <clears throat> along with you elders. Okay, who uh, who push this word in sincerity and in faith. Okay, all the way down to the least of men. Me being a young man, me being the least of men, you know. But even 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 the least of men, they do their part, man. And Barakathi Hawa, Barakathi Hawa Shai, Barakathi Hawa, Barakathi Hawa Shai, Barakathi Hawa, Barakathi Hawa Shai. Right, because you have uh, the you have uh, the higher ranking a angels, you know, Michael. Gabriel, you know, so on and so forth. And you have certain angels that you don't know the name of, man. Does that does that mean that that angel is is insignificant? No, of course not, man. Okay. 
Everybody has their part to play in this. Okay. And, and even though certain um, brothers have a, 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 a higher understanding, certain brothers have a higher faith and things like that. You know, we're, we're, we're all serving the body. That's what it's all about. It's not about who's, who's better, who's this, who's that. And that's the number one thing that our elder apostles taught us, man. Okay. They continue to tell us that it's all, it's all about the spirit. It's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Ha'arakakwadash, man. All right. And serving, serving our Lord. That's what it's all about. Serving our Lord, man. And that trickles down to the hopeful elect of Israel. If we can serve our Lord, Yahweh Shai, it can trickle down uh, to the people, man. And the people is the hopeful elect of Israel. Okay, the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those of you who look like the other nations, but your line actually goes back to Israel. You are what you would consider a uh, Israelite foreigner. Okay, you have people who look like all the other nations, and your line actually goes back to Israel. Okay, so you have to cons you have to consider these things, and only the hopeful elect of Israel uh, is going to consider these things, man. So, hey, once again, brach the Hawa, brach the All right, brach call akim to you, brothers, man. I can't continue to say that enough. Brach call akim to you, brothers. You know, may you brothers continue on in the faith. Okay, all the way up until the end, man. That's what we have to continue continue to do. We have to continue to push all the way up until the end. Okay, and, and endure. Okay, let me go ahead and get that. I believe that's in Mark. There's a there's a couple instances. All right, this is the book of Mark, chapter thirteen. Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Hawa, for that. This is the book of Mark, chapter thirteen, and verse. 13 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake Yahweh Shah HaMashiach but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved all right so we got to pray to endure we got to pray to endure man okay let's go above to verse 12 now the brother shall betray the brother to death and the father the son and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death all right so for for our understanding in this truth Okay, and for the different things that's about to happen, they may deliver us up, man. There's a certain number of brothers who are going to be delivered up from their own from their own family, sons, daughters, uncles, because it's going to get to the point where as these things continue to happen, they're going to blame us. You know, the guys who are uh, out on the streets. Bringing out the words of Yahweh Hashem as, as things continue to get bad, they're gonna say these guys did it. They did it. As things continue to get worse, man, all the way up until these these angels reveal themselves, man. All right, because the uh, the angels uh, and the vehicles of the angels can take many different forms. You know, you you can see how it went from uh, a disc shape. And it turned into like a more elongated roll. Okay. And then it, it went off into the distance. And it's, that, it's, it's as clear as day. Let me get that in, uh, I believe it's Zechariah. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter five, verse one. Then I turn and lifted up my eyes and look and, beho and behold a flying roll, which once again, the, the chariots come in different um, looks. There are many different uh, 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 vehicles of the heavenly father's angels, man. All right, it says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. So that's the heavenly father. 
That's in all caps, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. All right, it says uh, of hosts, and that's that's the Lord of, of, of war, man. Okay, our Lord is a Lord of, of war. And when you look in the sky sometimes, depending on the day, you see thousands of, of clouds, man. Okay? You see thousands of clouds. Now, that doesn't mean that those specific clouds are... Uh, you know, vehicles uh, of the he of the heavenly father's uh, angels. Right. But it is it is a, a similitude and you never know. As many times I've seen I've seen a cloud. And it look it looks just like a chariot. You, you could actually have a chariot being hidden within that mist. OK. And it dissipate. I've seen that many times, man. <clears throat> uh, and it says. Slock you. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. Yeah, man. So it's coming it's coming for you devils, it's coming for you uh heathens. Alright, and two thirds of Israel. It says, And it shall remain in the midst of his house, it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, lift up now thine eyes and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, what is it? And he said, this is the e path that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. So once again, you know, these these chariots, they, res they resemble uh, clouds in a way. You know, you have you you have different vehicles of the heavenly father's angels man so you have to understand that that when you see when you see the angels appear here upon the earth and this is gonna come real soon man it's gonna at first it's gonna appear kind of like clouds they're gonna look kind of like the shape of clouds and then they're gonna show themselves if you watch any movie such as um independence day shit um we call it the War of All Worlds. Any any movie that you watch like that, when they first show up, everybody's they're not tripping because they're like, oh, okay, this is a little weird. It looks like something's just in the sky, kind of chilling, and all, and um, it starts to multiply. You know, like ten turns kind of into a hundred, and a hundred kind of turns into th into, into thousands, right? And then they really, you know, you might see some lights starting to come off. Or you might see things starting to move a little fast and everybody freaks the hell out. And that's when they truly start to show themselves. Those are the those are uh, the, the angels inside inside of those vehicles, man, whether you believe that or not. But it take once again, it takes faith. We understand through faith, OK, that we are watched what 24 seven. We are watched as we sleep, man. OK. So do you want to be on the right side of things or do you want to be on the wrong side of things, man? We pray that we're on the right side of things, man. Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai. Okay, for, for the understanding and knowing that and knowing that this, 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 uh, um, once again, it says this, this curse, man, it's going to be a, it's going to be a curse to two thirds of Israel to know that they came up against the Lord, his angels and his men. So let me uh, get the definition for a, a curse. Because we are a cursed people, so you would think that they could recognize a curse when they see one. All right, it says, um, a, uh, it says curse, a prayer for harm to come upon one, something that is cursed, evil or misfortune coming as if in response to a curse. So yeah, once again, this is misfortune, right? That angel coming upon you, all right, and destroying you, that's a misfortune, okay? And the Lord can send uh, can send a demon upon you just as, just as uh, easy as he can send a right-handed angel to help you in a situation, put you in a certain mind frame, you know? Or physically help you. Like you could get in a car accident and a piece of metal fly through the windshield and not even hit you. It could it could just go into the seat. All right. Because uh, uh, an angel was protecting you. 
you know? Like a guardian angel. You would hear that when, you know, you were a kid. I know I would hear that when I was a kid that, you know, you, you know, you would hear that from your grandparents that um, or your parents that, you know, that uh, people have guardian angels and that they watch over people. And we pray in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai that, that, you know, the, the righteous angels that, you know, watched over the men beforehand are watching over us now as our as our current selves, whoever we were in the past. You know, we have to we have to pray for our past sins and pray for the sins that we commit uh, unto this day. You shit, you wake up, you know, in sin. You know, we you there's no way to avoid. We're born in sin, man. OK, curse shall thou be when thou come in. Curse shall thou be when thou come out. Let me go ahead and get that. All right, so this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 19. I'm in the video. It says, once again, I'm going to read it again. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 19. Curse it shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse it shalt thou be when thou comest out, or when thou goest out. Okay, so we come up into this thing. You born into sin, you 12 tribes of Israel. All right? And curse it shall thou be when thou goest out. All right, so hey, man, you you die cursed. All right, but ult ultimately, right? If you of the elect, you all right, man. All right, even being of the two thirds, you gonna come back through the loins of the elect. But you know, being a a, a cursed people should be something that you, you know. All right, we are a cursed people. Which that's okay, man. Just just because we go through certain things, that that is showing how the Lord, you know, loves us and that He deals with us, you know. <clears throat> and hey, man, there's there are gonna be certain men that that don't taste of death. There are gonna be certain men that when the heavenly Father uh, returns through His Son uh, and the angels, that they are going they are going to be ta taken by that chariot. Now there are gonna be a very good amount of us who are gonna have to die you know, the death, man. But as long as we don't die the death of those missiles, you know, none of his elect are going to be killed by those nuclear missiles, man. Now, some of us may die, you know, from, you know, from people, certain things happen, but none, none of the elect are going to die that second death. And I know I said uh, that was, that was it, but you know, this, that's what the spirit want. All right, let's just go through all, all four of these. Revelation chapter 2, verse 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. All right, and that second death is those missiles. <clears throat> Revelation 20 and 6. Blessed and, ho blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Hamashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. All right, so hey, man, when you, when you damn devils are in uh, captivity, we're going to be reigning. And even after that, all right? But this is just specifically speaking about when you devils are in captivity, man. Okay? <clears throat> Cause that's gonna be our main focus. It's putting hell up putting hell upon you damn Edomites. Okay, then after that thousand years when you've done away with really those those other nations, they're going to be in their land. You know, and the focus ain't gonna be on uh uh building up the kingdom by whipping you damn devils down, man. Cause you, you see, ultimately 
you you devils and you other nations, you are going to build up the kingdom of heaven. But most of the hard work and labor is going to fall upon Esau Edom. OK. And it said, uh, you know, after that, we're going to be basically uh, chilling now, of course, still um, exacting that rule in the earth, you know, still being a governing power, Israel. But it's going to be it's going to be more uh, uh, not relaxed. But with Esau Edom not being there, the focus isn't going to be on Esau Edom. It's going to ultimately be uh, you other nations following the law, statutes and commandments under us. And there there will still be judgment because, of course, you other nations are still going to go off. You're still going to sin, you know, but just like in this society, as time goes on, you will be more accustomed uh, 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 to the ways of the Heavenly Father through us, man. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right. So once again, death, right? And hell were cast into the lake of fire. And what is hell? Hell is a condition. Okay. <clears throat> to be, to be Hellenized. So let's get the uh, definition for hell. A uh, hell it says a place or state of torment or destruction. So there you go. <clears throat> it says in death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So yeah, the condi uh, man, the hellish conditions, right? That's going to be cast into the lake of fire. See, once this place is completely destroyed, because see, only America is going to be completely destroyed by nuclear missiles. All right, that's the only place on the earth that's going to be completely destroyed by nuclear missiles. A after that, all right, that's death and hell are going to be cast into the lake of fire. This this place, this place is that lake that is going to be on fire. Right? It says this is the second death. So those of you who are going to be here, right, getting hit with those missiles, you are the two thirds of Israel. Right. Along with you, other nations, you, 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 you Edomites, uh, you, you other nations dying here. Now, you are not the tw you are not the two thirds of Israel, you other nations and you Edomites. But you have to die the same death of the two thirds of Israel. Right. Basically, only the one hundred forty four thousand in the one thirds of Israel are going to be taken up by those chariots, man. Through, and that's through faith. We truly do believe that. Right, you believe in your your uh, pastor's rapture and all that other shit, right? Everybody go, it, like everybody just gonna have their clothes left here, and we done all seen Left Behind. I didn't, man. I used to love that movie, Left Behind, Kirk Cameron, man. That was that was one of my favorite movies as a child, man. Okay, <laughs> they got shit. They got like four or five Left Behind movies. <clears throat> I've only seen, uh, I believe, like the first two. You know, we should going off in a, in a lot of that, but it, it's, it's a good reminder. So uh, let me get this last one I'm in the video through the spirit. Revelation chapter 21, uh, verse eight. Okay. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. Yeah. So two thirds of Israel is going to be put in the same category as all these other nations. All right. Cause the devil really a devil is a liar. So two thirds of Israel are devils. They are liars. They are deceivers. Okay. It says shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is here, America. It says, which is the second death. So you getting bombarded with them uh, nuclear missiles here. First off, you're going to be the people that took that mark of the beast, that chip. You're going to be living in that society because it speaks about um, there are going to be certain people that are beheaded for uh, for Hamashiach's sake. Let me get that, too. Hey, the, the spirit wants what the spirit wants. Spirit wanted that to come out. All right. Revelation chapter 20, verse four. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, yeah, us not taking that chip because we know what that chip is. That's the mark of the beast. 
We understand that. It's not a cell phone. All right. It's not sin. It's not none of that. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip slash NFC chip slash Neuralink. That is that mark in your right hand or in your forehead. Okay. And we understand that. And we know that through faith. It says for the witness of Yahweh and for the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast. Yeah, so worshipping this system. All right. Neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So after the kingdom of heaven is established, we have to put you damn devils. Uh, after putting you damn devils in captivity, you have to serve out that captivity for a thousand years pertaining to the book of Obadiah. Which you, you devils, you are already in captivity uh, at one point here on the earth, right? Which you call the dark, uh, the dark a ages, the the uh, middle ages, in which uh, nobody knows what happened for a thousand years. Okay. Then in the thir uh, in the thirteen hundreds, your ass come up out of nowhere. Thirteen hundreds, fourteen hundreds, you uh, you come with with the Renaissance, which is y'all's rebirth. In which that's when you basically uh, took this place over again. OK, but after our Lord comes back, he's going to set up a thousand years of, of hardcore slavery. Let me go ahead and reiterate that hardcore slavery for you damn devils, man. OK, hey, man, and slavery for the other nations. The only nation that's not going to be in captivity is the nation of Israel. All right. But what I will say is after that thousand years, when Esau Edom is done away with, you other nations are just going to serve. All right. Now, once again, there's still going to be punishment going out to you other nations for sinning, going off. But after a certain amount of time, you're going to you are going to get used to the way that things are. And we know this. We understand that in the kingdom of heaven, the children of Israel are going to be made perfect. We are going to have the laws written in our inward parts. Woo. Woo. -hoo. Hey, man. It's the spirit, man. This is the spirit. Woo! Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. That's beautiful, man. We can't wait. We can't wait to be the Lord's people. You know, Lord's will, I'm of that number, man. Lord, you know, Lord's will. You know, we can't wait to be uh, his people. We can't wait to be uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach's bride, man. We are we are that faithful witness. We are those faithful brides, man, waiting for the coming of our Lord. And we have to continue to push uh, his coming back, man. We have to continue to push his coming back in the in the in the continuation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming back, man, and coming forth. The Heavenly Father is going to send His Son to save His hopeful elect. And that's that's why we uh, are put on the scene. Okay, Lord's will, we were doing, that's what we were doing uh, in our past life. Whatever we were doing in our past life, that's what we're doing today, man. All right? We were sinners in our past life. All right? And we sin today unwillingly sometimes willingly we're not perfect we are we are in this flesh that you know this is those chains uh, of darkness man i mean oh let me get that too let me get that too come on let's get both of them Second Peter chapter two and verse four. For if Yahweh spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell. So we are those angels, those angels that were put in a lower state, man. All right. <clears throat> we were cast down to hell to this condition. OK. Uh, uh, Adam, Adam was a was a was an angel. When you think about it, he he was ca he was he was cast down. OK. Put in a put in a in a in a lower state, okay. It says and delivered them into chains of darkness, which is these bodies, man. See, we are our, we are our spirit that our our spirit cannot sin, but our our flesh sins, man. 
you know, you and, and you you have it. That's why it says in the scriptures, man, that we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. OK, and wickedness in high places. We 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 are fighting the flesh here. OK, uh, it says and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Yeah, man. So when you go and you get judged, you know, you can get pardoned or your ass get that sentence. OK, so two thirds of Israel is going to get that sentence of death and one hundred forty four thousand men, 12,000 out of each tribe. And then one third of Israel, which consists of men, women and children are going to be found. Uh, you know, the, you know, ultimately, even though you're, uh, you know, guilty being here upon the earth sinning. Right. You're going to be pardoned. Lord's will were of that number, man. That's that's what you want to be. You want to be of the elect. That's why we are the hopeful elect. We're not the elect yet. You know, you don't know who is of the elect till how about Shimei Shai sends his son to save his elect, man. All right, this is the book of Jude, chapter one and verse six. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Yeah, man. So we kept not our first estate. We were supposed to be perfect here. OK. Yet, you, you know, the story of Adam and Eve. Uh, and it says, but left their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So it seems like, man, like forever. That we're in these chains of, of darkness, you know, in everlasting chains under darkness and in dar darkness. OK, unto the judgment of the great day. So upon our Lord coming back, that's the judgment of the great day. Our Lord coming back and saying, this is this is my this is my elect. All right. And then these people are going to be destroyed. And then in the kingdom of heaven, the two thirds of Israel will come back through the loins of the elect. OK, you you're going in the kingdom in 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 remember this in the kingdom of heaven. People are going to be born through sex, like how uh, Joseph and Mary had sex to create Yahushai, a perfect person. Right. Except in, in, in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Whoever Mary uh, was in her past life, whoever Joseph is in his past life, whoever those people are in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be made uh, perfect because both of them are Israelites. So they're going to be made perfect. OK, along with you, brothers and sisters who are of the 12 tribes of Israel, you are never going to be able to die. You are going to have children. You are going to eat clean food, drink clean water. You are going to live forevermore. And the other nations, right? Although they're going to be able to die, get injured, these other things, they're going to come to us. They're going to learn up under us, right? Okay. And follow our laws, our, our statutes and commandments, man. Okay. And, and get better. Now there's going to be some, uh, some of you, uh, that are going to continue to go off. You're going to be judged. You're going to be judged by the book. Okay. And there is going to be people being put to death in the kingdom of heaven. So although there's going to be uh, 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 righteousness, right, uh, uh, being sent out, you're going to have these other nations that are still going to go off and be judged as an example. And as time goes on, you know, it's not like sin Right. It's uh, Slovakia. It's not like um, them going off is going to go away, but it's going to be it's going to be less. You know, <clears throat> it's just like here. When we first established uh, Slovakia when the founding fathers first established America. You have people doing all sorts of shit. But now look in the year 2021, you you people are docile. That's how the other nations are going to be. They're going to be more docile. And every once in a while, you're going to have an instance of, you know, uh, uh, heathen doing this or that. And you know, you're going to have the judges. That's why the scriptures say that they're going to be judges. Okay. That are going to be on the throne. Lord's will were of that number, man. So brak the hawa, brak the hawa shai, brak the hawa, brak the hawa shai. Call halal, call halayam la, yahawa, bahashem, yahawa shai, bahashem, ha kakwadash. Shemai, yasha'ala, alanaya hawa, yahawa achad. Here, O Israel, our power is one. Okay. And the Lord is, is gathering together. Uh, his his hopeful elect through the spirit now. OK, so that when he physically comes, he's going to come and he's going to gather us. Lord's will you you sincere brothers and sisters 
are a part of that number, you 12 tribes of Israel, man, and nobody else. May you, may you, uh, may you, you Israelite foreigners, man, who look like the other nations, but your, your line actually goes back to Israel, man. May you continue to be inspired, man. You got a lot of guys out there who look, you look like the heathen, yet your spirit, your spirit is Israel, man. So do not forget that. Don't forget that part right there, man. You got a lot of, you know, a lot of Jake got blonde hair, blue eyes, man. Jake, man. You know, now, mo now most, most blonde hair, blue eyed people, you are damn devils. All right, but you do have instances where you, you know, you got the children of Israel out there. Hey, man, so Jake, you know, Jacob, keep your head up. Keep your head up out here, man. All right, Shalom.